Credit once again failing to be given where credit is certainly due, and that's in a fight to defeat ISIS, the extremist group. Their ongoing collapse has just been absolutely remarkable under President Trump's first year in office with victories that have forced them out of 98% of their territory, a, a, a win that cannot and should not actually be ignored. Joining me now to discuss Herb London, president of the London Center for Policy Research and co-author of the Encyclopedia of Militant Islam, among many other books. Herb, uh, the defeat of ISIS has been absolutely staggering. <clears throat> January 20th, they had an estimated 35,000 fighters and they held 17,000 500 square miles of territory in Iraq and Syria, to down to 1,900 fighters, and no, I'm sorry, 1,000 fighters mm -hmm. in 1,900 square miles. That, and there that, will not be 1,000 <laughs> fighters in a couple of weeks. Right. I can assure you. I mean, the remarkable success of the Trump administration, I don't think has been given the kind of attention it deserves. The, 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 the media amazing media thing is, you look this. what happened in Raqqa, you look what happened in Mosul. These are remarkable stories. They were stories. predicted to be two, three year engagements. Raqqa was seen That's as correct. the headquarters, impenetrable. You had so many civilians, you had too much there. It would take a, a door to door sort of fighting that would take multiple years to, to, to liberate. The New York Times predicted at least a two year war in Raqqa, in Raqqa just itself, alone. just in Raqqa. So, I mean, this is, this is a remarkable achievement. The unfortunate aspect, it's a bittersweet aspect of, of total victory, is that the last desperation will be scattered uh, terror attacks, perhaps, in, in Western countries using things like trucks and, and knives. But, you know, uh, unleashing our generals didn't hurt, did it hurt? <laughs> well, in, in fact, I think one of the things that was important about the Trump administration is that he said to Secretary Mattis, you deploy our troops appropriately. He was not going to micromanage this from the White House. He let Mad this Dog is what, do his thing. He let Mad Dog do his thing. And this is very different from what happened during the Obama administration, where, in fact, it was managed from the White House and one of the reasons for the failure.